Today we're here uh, to not only showcase, uh, but to celebrate the work of many outstanding teacher leaders that are here in this room today. It's my belief that teacher leaders uh, can make a difference. Uh, and I think the work that you've been doing uh, with Seth uh, in this endeavor uh, certainly indicates the, the very many good and positive things that can come out of this uh, working together. Uh, so you have uh, my congratulations on uh, this work uh, and the way that you have taken it back to your schools uh, and work with the others uh, in your schools to, uh, to bring this information to them as we, as we have sought to uh, roll out uh, the standards uh, for all of the school districts. Uh, I've been in my role as assistant superintendent for the time that the content networks have been in place. Um, and so we've had teachers from Bullitt County participate in those networks. They've done a lot with deconstructing the standards and also developing and working towards teachers uh, getting used to using the FALs, the FALs. How has your school or district used the knowledge and skills participants learned of this net or in this network? We're a rather large district and so we've been challenged with having only three people in the content network, but uh, Seth Hunter has come and worked with a lot of our teachers and leverage teams uh, with several of our schools. And then uh, Patrick, who is our uh, person that's on the network, has been an instructional coach and he's done a wonderful job sharing the resources with the rest of the instructional coaches and trying to spread to our teachers that way. How has your school or district used the knowledge and skills participants learned in this network at your school? I've been able to take the knowledge that I've learned through the three years and take them back into my classroom. I started my classroom then other teachers began to see what I was doing and ask what are you doing, what are you doing and share with them so I've seen a transition from just one classroom to multiple classrooms and then with a math Network math family night. We actually saw it go and began into the class, into the homes. Well, having uh, participants in the math leadership network has helped our organization by producing leaders, uh, teachers that are able to lead their cohort, lead their group, lead their other math professionals in the school in the work that they're doing in understanding the Common Core and how to teach math in a different way than it's ever been taught before. What impact has this network made on your leadership skills? My capacity is a little bit unique. I am half day instructional coach and half day classroom teacher. So it's helped me on both my roles. Uh, as far as the instructional coach part, uh, it has helped me tremendously be able to take things back to the other math teachers in my building, in my district, and be able to share those strategies both in a PLC setting, modeling in the classroom, and things of that nature. How do you intend to continue this work for all networks? We did that. Um, I would hope that we would be able to continue on as we have been. You know, uh, Seth and Dr. Magatha and, and the rest of the crew have, divide, have provided a very good setting for us to be able to share with our colleagues. Um, I hope that I've also established some good relationships with colleagues throughout the region that I could call on them, you know, as questions arise in the future, but that we would just continue to implement what we have learned, and not only that, but as new things, you know, come down the road, that we do seek that understanding and not just say, oh, I wonder, I wonder what that's about. What impact has this network made on your leadership skills? I feel like I am, um, I'm a better listener for my teachers. I pay more attention to what they're doing in the classroom. I also pay more attention to the practices they're, they're implementing, the math practices they're implementing. I'm more aware of um, standards that they're going to be used to be evaluated on and how I can identify those in lessons and um, how I can help them provide better feedback for their students and um, promote good discussions in their classrooms. What do you know now that you did not before? Um, from this network, one of the things that I know now is that my influence needs to go just beyond my classroom door. A lot of times I've been, I've been a participant for three years and I get a lot of cool strategies and things like that. And I'm there to help other teachers, but I don't really push to make sure that things happen beyond my classroom. What impact has this network made on your leadership skills? It's really pushed me to, to actually become a teacher leader. I, I guess I was comfortable in staying behind my own door. And if people wanted help and came to me, I was more than happy to help them with some of the skills that I've been practicing. But this network is kind of, especially this year, the second year that I've worked on a leverage team, it's forcing me to, to look out the building, even through the district, and try and 
teach some other people some of the things that we've learned through this network. How do you intend to continue the work of this network? I think that's one of the things that Seth is um, building this year because this is year three, the network's getting ready to go away, and he's trying to empower teachers like myself to continue on the legacy and not just shut your door and, and teach your class, but to make sure that the work that we're doing here gets spread throughout the district, throughout the state, so that it, you know, we can continue to grow. How does your school or district use the knowledge and skills participants learned in this network? We've used this work, the work that we've done here in many ways. One is through our district instructional leadership teamwork, where we have the folks who are involved in the networks as well as all the administrators in the district. Uh, we meet monthly. The origin of, the, of this work, we were doing the deconstruction and going, following along pretty much parallel to the work that was going on in the networks. The last year or so, it has been more on a school basis. Um, we have some folks who are very active who are involved in both the math network and the ELA network who've taken things back to their schools and have worked with other teachers in their schools. I just attended a presentation by Philip Guthrie at our high school and he has worked very diligently with the other math teachers at the high school this year to get unstructured enriched tasks for kids to solve with the end goal being to make them better critical thinkers and problem solvers and in doing that they, they've looked at ways of doing cooperative learning better and getting rich tasks for kids to solve to help them think. They, there's nothing to think about, there's no reason to think hard. So we've worked on getting better tasks for kids to do that. That work is going on at both the high school and the middle school at this time through leverage work that Seth Hunter has done with our teachers and it has spread to all the math teachers at both schools so it's been very very helpful to our district. These guys are off on, it's like letting it out of the cage, you're not going to get it back in. They've grown, they've become better teachers, they've become better teacher leaders so they're going to want to work with other teachers now they're going to spread what they know and I, I see it rippling out from now on. I don't think the work ends here at all. So what do you think the legacy of this network will be? I think that the state did it right, that we took it to the teachers to do, um, that we, we empowered teachers to become leaders in implementing standards. For the first time in, in my career, and I've been around a long time, um, instead of just handing down curriculum, we've had curriculum developed from the grassroots up, and I think that's the best thing that has come out of it.